to have a little chat about vegan Thanksgiving. I personally have never been, <sighs> please excuse this, all right? I can't do anything about it. I personally have never been a huge meat eater. So it wasn't really a big deal for me on my first Thanksgiving as a vegan because to me, Thanksgiving has always kind of been about the sides. So I think it's really important to find a bunch of your favorite sides and it's usually easy-ish to veganize them. But I do think that it's important to have kind of like a centerpiece, something like a vegan turkey that's beautiful and I mean, you just need like a centerpiece item. So I found this baked cauliflower dish last year and that's what I made for Thanksgiving. And while I don't think it serves as a main dish as far as filling you up or calorie wise or even taste wise, I think this is something that's really great to make just because of the beautiful wow factor that it gives the rest of your dinner. And it is really, really easy to make, which makes it even better. And so that's what I wanna make today and show you. And it's just going to be the first out of a little series of videos that I'm doing this month for vegan Thanksgiving ideas. I'm veganizing my favorite dishes. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. And I mean, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell, and then you'll get notified every time I upload a video and you won't miss anything. But today, let's make a turkey. All right, this is everything that you're going to need to make this cauliflower centerpiece. So, simple, right? I have preheated the oven to 400 degrees and you're gonna want some kind of a little pan to put this in. I thought this was just like the perfect size and shape for this. The cauliflower is gonna fit right in there. And you want to oil this a little bit. I'm gonna spray the inside. I'm um, also going to wash my cauliflower and then we'll get right into the recipe. Okay, I bought this cauliflower today and as you can see, it's orange. I thought that this would be even cooler as a turkey than a white cauliflower because it looks a little bit more um, turkey-esque. Is that like wishful thinking? I thought it was really cool and when I was in the store I actually googled it because I don't know anything about these and this is an orange color because it has more beta carotene in it than regular cauliflower. So this type of cauliflower actually has more vitamins. There's a lot of vitamin A in here and I figured it's different, it's cool, I'm gonna try this one. So I just rinsed it off and now I'm just going to cut off the bottom and I'm actually going to save it, I think, to use in the display. We'll see how it goes. don't want to cut this thing apart you want it to be whole but also you want this big core to be out of here because you're going to eat the whole thing okay I have hollowed out the inside here so all of this is just cauliflower ready to be eaten um, it's still a little bit wet I feel like I should dry it off 
Okay, I'm actually just gonna let that sit on a towel while we make the coating. So I'm gonna make all of this in a bowl. And basically, you just take all the ingredients and add them together, so super simple. The base of this sauce that we're using to cover the cauliflower is vegan yogurt. And technically, the recipe calls for a Greek yogurt, and that is what I used last time I made this. Today, the only plain yogurt I could find was almond milk yogurt. So it's not Greek yogurt, but it is dairy free, it's flavorless. Um, I was at the store earlier today, I couldn't find Greek yogurt, but also there was just a lot of people there and I just couldn't wait to get out of there. So I picked this up and hopefully it works. So you need one and a half cups of this. I just realized that I should have zested this lime before juicing it. You know what though? It's gonna be okay. We can do this. seasoning and this is for a little bit of like chili spicy flavor it calls for two tablespoons of chili powder I'm using this sriracha powder instead and it's pretty strong I might not use the whole two tablespoons that seems like an awful lot but cauliflower does not have that much flavor in it so use one and a half. Except one tablespoon of cumin. I'm not used to 
using so much of any of these. This is, it's freaking me out a little bit. A tablespoon of garlic powder. A teaspoon of curry. About two teaspoons of salt. teaspoon of pepper. Now you just stir this up. And I just want you guys to see this. It's kind of like beautiful. I think this is gonna be really good. Okay, so we have our baking dish ready. And here is our cauliflower. And it's been on, it's been kind of soaking, but I'm just gonna make sure that it's really dry before we put this sauce on here. Okay, so you're just supposed to dip the whole thing in the sauce and you can use your hands or a brush or whatever to try to bring it up over all the sides. I think we're just gonna move it around. Not that bad of a mess. And it looks like it's pretty well coated. I'm going to put a little extra in some places where I can see the orange poking through. And I just, I know this is gonna make such a good crust on top. All right. Whole thing is covered it's ready to go into the oven which is at 400 degrees and we're gonna bake it for 30 to 45 minutes okay guys this is my beautiful vegan turkey centerpiece that we will be using for Thanksgiving and it smells delicious. It looks even better. And you can get like the classic Thanksgiving pictures of someone carving a turkey, but with a cauliflower. We did that last year. And I mean, this thing is just beautiful. I highly recommend just putting it on some big pieces of lettuce and it really gives it like a great look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I hope that you stay tuned for the rest of the month for all of the really cool vegan Thanksgiving recipes that I have coming. It's really simpler than you think to have a vegan Thanksgiving and last year we had people who were not vegan come to Thanksgiving and I don't think it traumatized them like too much. Anyways, 
Thanks so much for watching everyone. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Thank you.